Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about AppSmith, especially if you're a beginner. AppSmith is an open source platform that helps you build custom applications faster and easier, saving you both time and money. Whether you're developing internal tools or full-fledged applications, AppSmith is here to simplify the process. In this video, I'll guide you through how to sign up for AppSmith, explore its features, and show you how to get started with your first application. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use AppSmith effectively. So let's dive in and get started. If you're new to AppSmith, let me give you a quick overview. AppSmith is a low code development platform designed to help developers and teams build custom internal tools, dashboards, and applications. It's open source, which means that it's free to use and highly customizable. With AppSmith, you can create powerful applications without needing extensive coding experience. AppSmith stands out because it offers a user-friendly, drag and drop interface, pre-built widgets, and seamless integrations with databases and APIs. It's perfect for developers who want to focus on building functionality rather than spending time on repetitive coding tasks. No matter if you're working on a small project or a large scale application, AppSmith has all the tools you need to get the job done. Now, let me show you how to sign up for an AppSmith account. Process is super easy and takes just a few steps. First, go to appsmith.com. Once you're on the homepage, click the sign up button located in the top right corner of the screen. This will take you to the account creation page. On the sign up page, you'll have two options to create your account. You can either sign up using your Google account or your GitHub account. Alternatively, you can sign up manually by entering your email address and creating a password. If you choose to sign up manually, start by entering your email address in the designated field. Then create a strong password that includes a mix of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers and symbols to keep your account secure. Once you've filled out the details, click the sign up button. Once you've signed up, then follow the on-screen prompts and personalize your account. Once you do, you will be taken to your account dashboard. Now, let's take a look at the AppSmith account interface. On the left-hand side, you'll notice the workspace section. This is where you can organize and manage your projects efficiently. Below the workspace header, you'll see the personal workspace, which serves as the main hub for all your applications and projects. Each workspace helps you keep everything in one place ensuring easy access and collaboration. Inside your workspace, you'll see the main canvas, which is the core area where your applications are displayed. For instance, you might find a project labeled My First Application or any other app you've worked on recently. This area gives you a quick overview of your active projects, making it easy to jump right back in. On the top right of the workspace, you'll notice some other options. Let me walk you through them. First off, the share option helps you collaborate effortlessly by inviting team members to your workspace. Right next to it is the create new button, which lets you quickly start building a new application. Additionally, you'll see three dots next to the create new button. If you click on these, it will open a drop down menu that provides more options, such as workspace settings, managing members, or leaving the workspace entirely. These tools are designed to give you complete control and flexibility over your projects and team. Finally, at the top right corner of the interface, you'll find your profile icon. If you click on it, you can update your account settings or log out. It's a simple and accessible way to manage your account preferences. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Creating a new application in AppSmith is simple and flexible. First, find the Create New button at the top right corner of your screen. Click it and you'll see three options pop up. Application, Templates, and Import. For this demo, we'll show you how to build an application using a template. So let's click the second option, which is templates. When you pick the templates option, a pop-up shows up with lots of pre-built templates. These templates are like a head start, giving you a ready-made design that you can tweak to fit your needs. Take a moment to scroll through and see which one works best for you. For this demo, we're going to use the customer messaging tool template. Click on it to check out a preview. If everything looks good, hit the use template button at the top right corner to move forward. Now you see the option like go to application on the right side. If you click it, you'll be taken to the AppSmith app builder where your selected template will load up and be ready for you to customize. At first, the editor might feel a little complicated, but don't worry, I'll guide you through it step by step. First, let's look at the left side of the editor. This panel is where you can customize your app's user interface or UI. It's simple to use, just drag and drop elements onto the canvas to design your application. At the very top, there's a search bar to help you quickly find any UI elements you need. Below that, you'll see suggested elements like tables, input fields, and text widgets, which are commonly used in most apps. These can be dragged right onto the canvas and positioned where you want them. If you scroll down, you'll find more categories like inputs, buttons, and containers. The input 
input section has tools like currency input fields, date pickers, and file upload options. Over in the buttons section, you'll see different types of buttons that you can add to trigger actions in your app. Everything here is super easy to use, and a drag and drop feature makes setting up your layout a breeze. At the bottom of the left panel, you'll see three important options, data sources, libraries, and settings. The data sources option lets you connect your app to external databases or APIs, so you can easily fetch or send data. Libraries gives you access to pre-made functions and scripts that can add extra features to your app without much effort. Lastly, the settings option is where you can adjust global settings for your app, like themes or general preferences. These options help make your app run smoothly and look great. Now, let's talk about the main canvas. This is where you'll actually design and customize your app. If you're using the customer messaging tool template, you'll notice a ready-made layout with tabs like customers, configure, and preview. In the customers tab, you can pick the users you want to send messages to. You can easily update the table by adding or editing details like names, SMS numbers, or WhatsApp contacts. The canvas is a space where all the elements you drag over from the left panel will show up, and you can tweak their size, placement, and how they work to match your needs. Next up, we have the properties panel on the right-hand side of the editor. This is where you can tweak the details of any element you've added to the canvas. For example, if you click on a button, the panel lets you change its label, adjust its style, or even define what it does when someone clicks it. Another great feature of this panel is the canvas size settings. You can switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views to make sure your app looks perfect on all devices. This makes it super easy to create apps that work well on different screens. At the top of the editor, you'll notice the application name. If you want to change it, just click on the name. A drop down menu will pop up with the rename option. Click that, type a name that better matches what your app does and hit enter. For instance, you could name it customer messaging app. Finally, let's talk about the preview, share and deploy options at the top of the editor. Preview lets you check out how your app looks and works without leaving the editor. It's perfect for testing everything in real time to make sure it's all running smoothly. Share is where you can invite team members to work on your app. You can decide what kind of access they have, like whether they can view, edit or test the app. Deploy is the final step to make your app live. When you're happy with how it looks and works, just click deploy to publish it and share it with your audience. These tools and features make it easy to create apps in AppSmith. AppSmith is a low-code development platform designed to help developers and teams build custom internal tools, dashboards, and applications. It's open source, which means that it's free to use and highly customizable. With AppSmith, you can create powerful applications without needing extensive coding experience. AppSmith stands out because it offers a user-friendly, drag-and-drop interface, pre-built widgets, and seamless integrations with databases and APIs. It's perfect for developers who want to focus on building functionality rather than spending time on repetitive coding tasks. No matter if you're working on a small project or a large-scale application, AppSmith has all the tools you need to get the job done. And that's it for this tutorial. Today, we covered what AppSmith is, how to create an account, and then we walked you through its interface. After that, we showed you a step-by-step -step how to create an application in AppSmith. I hope this walkthrough made everything clear and easy to understand. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with AppSmith, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.